Now we hear this all the time, right? We're going through a rebuild. Well, here's <laughs> Rupp's rebuilds. Man. And uh, we're going to just ask you, you know, not even who had the biggest rebuild or the best rebuild, but maybe who had the quickest rebuild where fans didn't really have to wait or probably won't have to wait as long as they might have thought. Yeah, there's a there's a couple teams, and I'll name two in particular, the Vancouver Canucks, Arizona Coyotes, who I think are doing a fantastic job. And, and I think that that is a very nice rebuild. But these teams we're going to look at were we're th sitting here thinking, oh my goodness, that changed really quickly. <laughs> and we're going to start here with the New York Rangers. I mean, this is one of the teams that I am most excited about in the National Hockey League. And when you look at this team, I mean, you're talking about studs. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know about Capo Caco. We know about that, okay? We know about the addition of Artemi Panarin and Jacob Trubas. So you've got NHL level uh, additions that are going to pay dividends. But when you look at the, the guys they have in the pipeline here, I mean, they've got absolute studs. I mean, you've got in goal, you've got Igor Shesterkin, we've got uh, Georgiev that's already there, mm -hmm. uh, and, and Henrik Lundqvist. I mean, an embarrassment of riches in goal. I mean, this is the, probably the deepest goalie group that we've seen in a long time for really most teams. So uh, that's something that they've got going for them in, in a very big way. And then you look at Adam Fox. Adam Fox is a defenseman that could, uh, you know, he signed. He should be making the team this season mm -hmm. or have a great opportunity to make the team a, a puck moving defenseman. Then you got Keandre Miller, who's a little bit more of the uh, Thunder. He's 6'5, 225. You know, he's going to probably play another year. He's going to play another year in Wisconsin, but he's a guy that probably has a little bit higher of a ceiling hmm. on the, as a defenseman, maybe more like a Seth Jones type. So, I mean, you got two studs on the back end, and then we can't forget about uh, uh, Kravstov. Uh, I mean, this is, uh, this is a player that's supposed to be very dynamic, mm -hmm. exciting, pull you out of your seat. I mean, this team has this build and the pieces in place where I'm sitting here looking and I'm thinking, man, in about three years, the, the longevity, the sustainability of the New York Rangers hmm. look out because they're a team that you got to reckon with. You wonder if Artemi Panarin had that thought process as well when he decided to sign. Like, well, this team, they're going through a rebuild, but yeah. they might be but, really good really soon. But that's what's so great, too, because yeah. Panarin, Panarin's not a not a very young buck. He's not old, no. but he's not, you know, he kind of falls in that little sweet spot there, but he's got that long-term deal. But then you got Jacob Truba, who's 25 years old, and you've got him long-term as well. So when you've got these guys in your lineup so by the time and I think that you're looking at listen this year I don't think this team is going to be a contending team are they going to be an exciting team absolutely mm -hmm. I can't wait to watch the blue shirts this year but listen they still might you know they can compete for a playoff spot I don't anticipate them getting in but they stay the course they keep developing I mean the New York Rangers depth in their farm is the best I've seen in decades wow and and you got to give a lot of credit to Jeff Gordon and company for putting this roster together and these mm -hmm. these picks together and and developing these players and doing such a great job because they have a lot of options moving forward. Yeah, and over in the West, we have a very exciting team in the Colorado Avalanche. Why do you like them so much? Oh, man, what's not to like about them? Look at the moves they made at the NHL level. You've got Belmar adding some depth. Andre Burakovsky, who I'm interested to see what kind of, uh, what's he going to be able to do with mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more opportunity than he got in Washington. And then Jonas Donskoy is, uh, is a fantastic, very dynamic player, I believe. And then Nazem Kadri is exactly what they need, too. And he's going to get more of a crack and more of a chance. But this is a team that tons of moves on the NHL level. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but for me, it's, it's, again, the same thing. You've got absolute studs. You've got Kale McCarr, who's 20 years old. You've got Bowen Byram, who you just drafted. Both these guys are drafted fourth overall. And, and Byram's 18. And then you've got... Uh, Samuel Gerard, who's 21 years old. I mean, you've got three absolute studs on defense, and we know about their top end guys. We yeah. know about their top line, the best line, arguably, uh, with the Boston Bruins' top line in the National Hockey League. Wow. Now you've got those depth players we looked at. Uh, Philip Grubauer has been fantastic. I mean, this is a team that's built, just like I said with the Rangers, in three years, you've got the Colorado Avalanche in the West, you've got the New York Rangers in the East. I think those are going to be the teams to beat. Okay, one more for you. What's another top rebuild that you have? This one's a little bit different, so maybe not as much riches as, as far as their system, but, I mean, Ray Shiro, I, what can you say about the job he's done in New Jersey? Yeah. I mean, th this has been a, a huge, huge turnaround. Uh, or projected turnaround. You get Jack Hughes, great, first overall pick. Mm -hmm. uh, you get Wayne Simmons. I love what he brings to the table. He's got a lot to prove as well, too, because, um, you know, coming in and, and kind of betting on himself in this situation, and the Devils giving him a chance. P.K. Subban, I expect P.K. to get back on the radar of a, of a Norris Trophy wow. because he's going to get the opportunities, and maybe he wasn't getting to Nashville because that decor is so deep. 
But then when you also look at it here, you, you're looking at this New Jersey Devils team. Ty Smith. Ty Smith should be making this team or having a great chance of making this team on the back end. Um, I mean, it, it, it's a totally new look. Yeah. Totally new, great feeling. But the biggest piece is you see PK right there doing his workouts that uh, uh, and wearing that Devils jersey. The biggest thing for me is that Ray Shiro is, is cultivating this. And the big contingency for me is Taylor Hall. Can you get Taylor Hall re-signed? I still love the direction in the rebuild. But the Taylor Hall wild card is everything. Hmm. It's everything. Because you've got right across the huts in the New York Rangers yeah. who are building an absolute monster. Well, the Devils, to keep pace, they need Taylor Hall in the mix. So I love the, the fact that you're showing, hey, we'll do whatever it costs. Whatever what, we need a defenseman, we're going to get one of the best. We're going to get P.K. Subban, and I think he's going to be highly motivated. I, I'm excited to see what Taylor Hall decides here mm -hmm. because all the job, the team's doing everything they need to do. And uh, if they can retain Taylor Hall, this team could be right in that mix as well. Very interesting. And like you said, just one little river separating two very promising teams, we'll call them right now. Yes. We'll see if they'll be two very good teams or not.